Hi, Intuitive D1111 here. My name is Diana. Thank you so much for joining me, Virgo. Let's go ahead and get into some energy of your connection. Let's see what's going on here for you. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. The sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as north node placements. All right, so we have Tantric Journey here. Okay, it says the frequency of tantric journey helps us to unlock the hidden knowledge and wisdom that we intrinsically hold about how to reach a state of wholeness and completion through our sensual experiences with ourselves and with another. So I feel like this is emerging. I feel like this is emerging of because when I see the um, the upright triangle, the downright triangle, I automatically am thinking about like a divine union. Um, those are symbols for the divine feminine and divine masculine. So I feel that. That's how you're connecting with your person. Your person, they, um, it's like you're connecting across different levels with your person. You're balancing your own divine feminine and divine masculine energies, as well as when you connect with them, it's, it's, it's not just a physical connection, but you're connecting across all levels energetically. So it definitely is a high level soul connection. Okay, what's going on for Virgo right now? We have Merkaba. So this is really beautiful. Um, when I see the Merkaba, it's all about um, using all of your experiences from not just this life, but also past life. So like, you know, accessing your Akashic records, you know, incorporating all of that information together to, um, you know, for your soul mission, for your purpose here on this earth. And this is all about, this energy is all about um, you coming into the highest form of yourself. This is about you um, being complete and being whole on your own, as well as um, how it's helping to elevate your partner with your divine union, if you are in one. So that's really beautiful. And then with Cosmic Flower here, this is all about you coming back to your home which, you know, you, you coming back to the divine. So this is, this is beautiful because it's about your connection with the divine, your connection with yourself and your connection, you know, with your masculine and the outside world. So really beautiful energy. I see a, a lot of um, different chakras being elevated here. I feel like you're communicating with the divine with the purple here for your crown chakra. I feel like you know, you are speaking with your guys with your throat chakra and connecting to, um, to the, you know, you're connecting with your ancestors, with your guides here. It's like you're receiving instruction right now. You're being protected right now. And you're being called to, um, if you are feeling depleted or if you're feeling like a situation is depleting you, you're being called to return to the divine, to your power source, right? And get recharged. So I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and look into love here for Virgo. Let's see what's going on. So Virgo, how are you? Um, how's your person feeling for you? How is your person feeling for you, Virgo? Let's get the truth right. Let's see what's going on. We have the Six of Coins. We have a bunch of stuff that came out. The Eight of Swords. Three of Coins, Eight of Wands, Queen of Cups. What else? How's your person feeling for you, Virgo? We have the Seven of Swords. Oh my gosh. The world in reverse. The moon. <laughs> Temperance. And the Five of Cups in reverse. Oh gosh, there is so much going on here. And this is more cards than I normally take. So let me just go ahead and look at this for a second here. But I decided I was just going to go ahead and go for it. Okay. I'm going to put this back over here because this is where it was. Okay. So I feel like someone's feel, someone feels like you're keeping your cards close to your chest, Virgo. Someone, they see you as empathetic. They see you as nurturing, caring. They see you as very loving. I feel you've invested a lot in your connection. Um, with this Queen of Cups energy here, I feel like you're very intuitive. You are receiving divine um, guidance here at the Eight of Wands. Some of you could be traveling soon. I feel like this person wants to communicate with you. I feel like there was a situation in the past where your person could have been um, 
giving to multiple situations, be it person, be it job, be it, you know, um, you know, location, something was coming in between your connection. And it's like, they want to give to you right now. They want to communicate that. But in the past, it's like, you felt like you, you see how she's like holding, um, holding her, her clothing here. And he's, you know, giving this to her and he's the Hierophant. He is a Taurus. So some of you could be dealing with another earth sign as well as a fire sign. Cause I see that here with the temperance, um, Scorpio, who's, Aquarius moon maybe over here there's a lot of different placements I see but I felt like someone was trapped in another situation someone was trapped in their mind I think they're they feel like you are coming out of the energy of just really um you know being down and depressed about this situation I believe you're coming more into yourself I feel like you know you have unfinished business with this person I feel like you know that uh, but you also know that there's changes that they need to make in their life too I feel like a lot of you they see you as somebody that is intellectual that you like to study you like to learn um that when you love someone, you put all, your all into it. With the moon here, again, they see you as the divine feminine. They see you as, um, you know, maybe working through your own your own hurts and pains and fears right now that a lot of people don't know with this moon energy. I feel like there were things that were hidden within this connection. I feel like you, you know, you saw the deception in this connection and you realized that you no longer wanted to be a part of any type of third party situation. You also could have felt like somebody was... Um, was hiding or was, um, you know, just not being honest. They also could not, have, they also could have not been honest about their work situation. They could have been lying about their job situation. They could have been, um, hiding, you know, communication with someone else. They could have just been, um, which caused you to feel like, you know, you didn't know which way to go. I feel like this, um, but the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Coins. So they're feeling like they want a new beginning with you. They're feeling like they want to start over again. And it's like they weren't giving before. They feel like they want to give to this connection now. Um, but let's go ahead and see how you're feeling for them. Because I can see that this connection has definitely taken some time with the temperance, card, the temperance card being there. That's not something that's overnight. That's something that... Um, you know, takes time. Okay, so let's see. How are you feeling for your person right now, Virgo? Okay, we have the Eight of Wands again. How are you feeling for your person, Virgo? We have the Four of Coins. How are you feeling for your person, Virgo? Well, they want to keep flying out. And it's a lot of the same cards that we just saw. So let's go ahead. Let me just take one more card. How are you feeling for your person, Virgo? I feel like you're trying to hold back communication. I feel like if you are getting communication in, you don't know whether or not you can trust it. I feel like you're being, yeah, there we go. I feel like you're being more conscious of uh, where you're investing your time and your energy. I feel like with the four of coins and the three of coins, I feel like you, um, you're t a lot of, a lot of this is speaking about money for some of you you don't trust this person with money you feel like you're holding on to your finances because you want to collaborate and work together with this person you did in the past and i feel like maybe they took for granted you know what you were giving to them your time your money your energy and i feel like for some of you you don't trust them right now so you're holding back um you know you're not going i don't see any cup cards here i feel like all the emotions as the queen of cups maybe you have like a water rising or you have like a you know pisces cancer scorpio moon or venus maybe you felt like they just they took it for granted and so yeah, and you see them as you see them as also holding back. You see them as um You feel like they're and they're you feel like they're holding back their emotions too. Like they're not being honest with you and telling you the truth of what's going on with them. You feel like they're mainly focused on work with all of the with all of the coins here, all of the pinnacles here. Some of them could be traveling soon. They could be traveling for work, so they're trying to save to go there. Um, I really feel like you see this person as um, someone that's mainly focused on what they're doing right now, right? whatever it be, you know whatever it be i see that um with the six of coins here yeah we have the nine of swords 
Let's see what else. How else are you feeling for this person, Virgo? We have the Four of Wands. We have the Temperance. I feel you see this. For some of you, for some of you, you definitely see this as your divine counterpart. You really do. And you know that it's going to take time for that to come into union. For some of you, you feel like they have a hidden um, living situation right now. Or they're hiding something about their living situation as well as their finances. Um, so just take this for how it resonates. Let's go ahead and get into outcome. Because I didn't mean to, to go, go so much longer on this one. All right. Outcome for Virgo right now for love. Outcome for Virgo for love right now. Outcome for Virgo. Let's see what's going to happen within this connection. Okay, there's a lot of worry still in this outcome. Um, I feel that they don't know how to read you, Virgo. I feel like they want commitment. Um, but for that, for that, I mean, the commitment is destined, right? With the Wheel of Fortune here. The Wheel of Fortune is a beautiful, positive card. Um, it's just... I feel like there's no need to worry. It's like you've already done your part. Yeah, seven of wands. It's like you're not fighting for, um, you're at the point of accepting. Like what's meant for you will be for you. You're not going to be, uh, you're laying your, your wands down. You're you're not fighting any <laughs> for this connection at this moment. It's like they, you know, they know what they have to do, right? I'm kind of, I'm hearing that they know what they have to do to make this work. So take that how it resonates. Let's get love messages from your person, Virgo. Virgo, what does your person want to say to you? What does your person want to say to you, Virgo? I think they wanted to say a lot the way those cards were flying down. <laughs> oh, Lord, this is one. Your intellect arouses me. You let me down. I would do it again. I would do it all again. Okay, so when I see... Look, I'm not financially stable. Something with their finances, and we don't share the same values. So when I look at this energy here, and and I see you let me down, I kind of see that as, in your case, based on the previous energy, they are upset that you're not accepting what you used to accept accept from them. That you're forcing them to level up. Yeah, I still feel the pain. I feel you pulled back your energy, and they can't handle that. They thought you were always going to be there, apparently. Okay, so how does your love interest feel for you, Virgo? How does your love interest feel for you, Virgo? Let's see here. Last messages. We're going to wrap this up. Please do me a favor and like and subscribe. Um, if you enjoy this content, that will help more people to see the video and help me to grow um, this small channel. Okay, so it says, you've been in my dreams. I want to be authentic. I'm no longer afraid. Please don't take what happened personally. It's not you, it's me. Yeah, this person really needs to get their stability together for sure. Um, I've thought about you a lot lately. And I don't know if I can meet your expectations. So, thank you so much for spending time with me, Virgo. And if no one has told you yet today, I love you. You're amazing. And um, I'm blessed to have you on my channel. Okay, thank you.